I have been using Quick Sleeper for almost two years now. And as an endodontist, I identified what I thought was the main value in it. It's simple, delivering intraosseous anesthetic in a very simple way and in a way that is very comfortable and safe for our patients. So I also thought that the learning curve was going to be a little bit longer, but I, I was all into it. I got the device and I started using it in every single lower molar for a few days with the plan of then, you know, being selective. That never happened. I started using it in every single mol lower molar first. I mastered the technique after a few days and I never went back. And not because I was giving the anesthetic in a very fast, in a very safe way, in a very effective, e efficient way. Is it was because of my patients' feedback. They just loved it. Their comments were, oh my God, this is amazing. I don't feel half of my face numb. Um, I actually had a couple of referring doctors that called me to ask me if I didn't use any um, anesthetic for their patients. And I said, of course I did. Well, Jackie, they were swearing that yeah, you didn't, that you didn't, that they had the best recall treatment, that it was very comfortable and that you didn't use any local anesthetic. And so then I tell them, I explain, no, I use an intraosseous, I deliver the, the anesthetic intraosseous with, with a new device that is called Quick Sleeper. With kids, it's just amazing. I actually tell them I don't use needles, I use something else. I show them the Quick Sleeper device and after just putting the tip right into the gum where everything is um, blanching, I just push slightly, I'm already delivering the intraosseous. They love it and I'm not going back to the blocks routinely. Now my routine is quick sleeper.